Welcome. In this video, we're going to be continuing to learn about the defense system. In the previous video, we said our defense system has two parts, specific and non-specific. In the non-specific, the first stage was our physical and chemical barriers. Examples were skin, mucus, acid in the stomach, and tears. If a pathogen managed to bypass these, then step two was phagocytosis. In this stage, white blood cells such as macrophages and neutrophils would turn into APCs by engulfing and digesting pathogens. The APC is now going to trigger the activation of T cells. T cells will destroy infected cells, activate more phagocytes, and also activate B cells, which will in turn create antibodies to shoot down the pathogens. In this video, we're going to focus on step three, T lymphocytes. But before we do that, let's quickly make sure we have a good understanding of the different type of white blood cells. There are two main classes, phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes engulf, digest, and present the antigens on their surface. Lymphocytes have various roles within the body. Examples of phagocytes are macrophages and neutrophils. Whereas for lymphocytes, we have the B and the T lymphocyte. Now, both of them were created in the bone marrow. However, the B lymphocyte matured in the bone marrow, whereas the T lymphocyte went to the thymus gland. So the B stands for bone marrow and the T stands for thymus. Okay, let's see how T lymphocytes work. The stage previous to this was phagocytosis. Here, a phagocyte turned into an APC by eating a pathogen. We can see the foreign antigens are on its surface. Now the APC is going to meet D cells. These are called T helper cells. And this is how we're going to write T helper cell. The reason they're clones is because they have different shaped receptors on their surface. Right now, all of them are inactive. So the APC is going to go and find the one that has a complementary receptor to the antigen that it's holding. Nope. Nope. Perfect. We have a complementary fit. This T helper cell has now become activated. The process where the phagocyte finds the complementary T helper cell is called clonal selection. This T helper cell is now going to divide by mitosis into many copies. Notice all of the copies have the same receptor as the activated T helper cell. From the copies, we have lots of T helper cell, but also T memory cells. So let's see what they do. Some of the T helper cells activate phagocytes. These phagocytes will then go find pathogens and do phagocytosis, just like before. Now we have an APC. The second role of T helper cells is to activate T killer cells, also known as T cytotoxic cells. They will go and find infected body cells, bind to them, and release proteins called perforins. These proteins create holes on the surface of the infected cell, and all of the contents come out. This is called apoptosis. This is good, especially if there was a virus hiding inside the infected cell. T helper cells also activate B cells. B cells are important because they produce antibodies to kill pathogens. We'll talk about this in more detail in the next video. And finally, some T memory cells are produced. These circulate in the blood for a long time ready for the next infection. This is useful for providing long-term immunity. The T lymphocytes response is also known as a cell-mediated response. We can see that all the T helper cells work by interacting with other cells, hence why it's called a cell-mediated or cellular response. So to summarize, step one, the APC binds to the T helper clone with a complementary receptor. Step two, this is called clonal selection. The clone is activated and divides by mitosis to make many copies of T helper cells. The T helper copies activate phagocytes, T killer cells, and B cells. Phagocytes will do phagocytosis, T killer cells will kill infected cells by making them do apoptosis, and B cells produce antibodies. Finally, some T clones turn into memory cells, and this provides long-term immunity.
Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.